Our dream turned into reality when we gave up our jobs and headed to Europe. Passing through train stations, hopping on buses, and taking the ferry. It'll be a family adventure because one-year-old Sophia decides what we do next. We're journalists by trade, adventurers at heart. And food lovers like everyone else, sharing our experience with you. So hop on board and follow our travels. This is The Great Escape Plan. When you think about Greece, the first thing that comes to mind is the Acropolis in Athens. Well, little did you know that there are many Acropoli all over the Greek islands. This is the Acropolis of Lindos. Now, it's a workout to get up here, so you're going to sweat a little. I suggest you bring a towel and some extra water. And if you're carrying a baby in the middle of the summer, you're going to need it. On the southeastern shores of the island of Rhodes, you'll find Lindos. As the name implies in Spanish, it is breathtakingly beautiful. It's an ancient archaeological site and a town overlooking a pristine bay. To get to the ruins, you'll walk through paths lined with stores and souvenir shops. Once you get to the top of the Acropolis, you'll be amazed by the surviving historical structures and the views are spectacular. The Acropolis offers a picturesque panoramic of the surrounding harbors and coastline. The region of Lingos itself goes back more than 3,000 years. In 300 BC, the ancient Greeks from the island finished the massive temple of Athena Lindia. As I mentioned earlier, it does get really hot in the summer, but there's another way to get up to and down from the Acropolis. If you're in Lindos, you must take the taxi from Lindos, a donkey ride down the cliff. So for another great Greek historical site to visit, we present you the Acropolis of Lindos in Rhodes.